Power, baby, Bruce Gus, Muscular Christianity. Welcome to our fourth installment. And uh, let's take a look at that photo op. See, the Brewster is definitely slimming down, so that's cool. Here's another photo that I wanted to share with you. I'm making use of the crawl space in my home and uh, converted it to a little personal gym. Dig that. All right, let's do our demo of the little Loose Cannon Fitness Audio Workout System. This is called Rockin' Shares, and this is... This is something you'll encounter a lot in the context of our fitness plan. Five, one, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, that's eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three. All right, this week, as far as our core training is concerned, we're doing part two of a two-part series that we started last week as far as how do you know that Christ rose from the grave. And we're looking at, um, well, a couple of different things. The first week we looked at how the resurrection booms, the way that you see it expressed and represented over the course of human history. We looked at, uh, last week, the beginning of four questions, origin, destiny, morality, and purpose. Last week was origin and destiny. This week is morality and purpose. Both of these things are kind of related. And the way that I think of it is when you have a symphony orchestra playing in the absence of a composer and a conductor, no music, what you have now is just this random collection of instruments. And when they play, because there's no form, there's no standard, the end result is this nasty noise. But if you take all those instruments and all those individuals and you bring them together in the context of a composition and you have a conductor, you now have a standard that all these different pieces are now abiding by and the end result is something exquisite. This to me is one of the ways that the resurrection fits that allows life to become this cohesive whole in that with the resurrection now, you have a transcendent divine standard that not only applies to everybody, but it benefits everybody. And from that perspective, the resurrection fits. Muscular Christianity, we'll see you next week.